Hey guys, it's Greg. Welcome back. And today, Oluwatoyosi asks us, how do I change the background without having the theme options under appearance? Some themes don't have theme options. So I figured why not change the background color on the most default theme right now, which is 2017. Let's show you how to change the background color on WordPress 2017 theme. So we're going to open up Customize in a new window. And that's just so we can refresh the home page and see our changes and then click additional CSS all right and this is just a little description we can close that because we know how to use it and I'll show you how to use it so what we want to do is come to the part where we want to change the background color like this little section right here and right click and I'm in Google Chrome which makes it really easy inspect click inspect and now it's going to highlight the right section so you're just going to want to find on the right, make sure it's still highlighted. Make sure you find the section that we're talking about here. So if you right click, inspect, it automatically highlights the right section on the left, which is the HTML. And then on the right, you get the little selector, which describes this, this section. So in this case, it's dot panel dash content. We just want to copy that, highlight, copy it, and then come back. And we'll paste that here. Don't worry about that error. It's going to get fixed when we write out the CSS. So now just write open bracket, enter, background, and it'll give you the background color option. So choose that, colon, and then you can write out your own color, like green, and semicolon to close it. And now scroll down, and we've changed one part of the background color. So it's pretty cool. It's also going to affect the other sections that are described by dot panel dash content. So there's more than one dot panel dash content on our particular home page, which also has a lot of good looking food here. Not sure where that came from. But we are using a page. Our front page is a page. It's not just the blog post. So that's why it looks like this. All right, so that's definitely a start. If you want to change other background colors, you can go to a different page, close that little inspector window, and we can click to the about page. Seriously, this developer loved BLTs. And then we can just click on another section, like maybe the footer area, right click inspect, and our selector will highlight the right section again, which is footer ID, call it phone, blah, blah, blah. What we care about is on the right, so just click once on the descriptive selector here, which in this case is .site-footer. Copy it. Now we'll come back to our customize window. Couple spaces. Paste in the CSS selector. Now we can just write out a different color. So open bracket. And we can try a new background color. So pretty simple, maybe just red. And now we scroll down, we see we have this nice red background color on the footer. All right, so this is fun because you can also use hex colors, so you can actually match any color you find on the web. Maybe you're at HostGator, for example, and you really want to match this dark blue right here. So you can just right click, inspect, and the browser should show you that blue if you scroll down far enough. Then you can just click on the hex color, which is the pound sign followed by six random digits, not random, but looks random to us. And now you can just paste that in instead of red. And you can see how you're becoming a little bit of a web designer here just by learning how to change the background color on the WordPress themes. All right, so have a lot of fun with this new skill. And if you wanna change any specific background color and it's not working like this, then you might have to just dig into the HTML, like click into footer and then into wrap into widget area if you want to target just like one specific widget background, for example. All right, so that's how to change the background color in WordPress. You could also change the background to an image if you'd rather do that. And I think the method to do that is still the same. Instead of background color, we would just write background. And now I need to refresh my CSS. You can always go to W3Schools and learn a little bit of CSS. And so if you want the background to be an image instead, you can just use this structure right here. 
So that would look like this. Let's see. All right, but we don't know what the paper GIF is. I don't think we need an actual image. So you could go to your dashboard, media, and then choose an image. Um, like you have a bunch of Ripple coins here. And we can just grab the URL, just copy the URL from your WordPress media and paste it in over paper.gif. Or if you want to write it out, that works too. And there you go. All right, so that has an image in the background and you can make all sorts of other styles to it, like um, make the width full screen or make it stretch or make it repeat like a million times. So there's a lot more coins. You can do whatever you want using a little bit more CSS right here and you can find just about everything in Google. It'll tell you how to write the right CSS or you can always ask in the comments. All right, so I just wanna show you how to change those two background properties in WordPress. Thanks so much to Alo Watayosi for asking a great question, which inspired this video. Super common question. Really appreciate you asking that one. Thanks a lot for watching because I enjoyed making this for you guys. And of course, please make sure to subscribe and we'll do our best to keep making WordPress blogging more fun for you. All right. Thanks again. I'll see you next time.